Why, hello there everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Minasan, ohayo gozaimasu. So today is more of an update, and I do gotta go to work, so by the time you're seeing this, I'm most likely at work. So essentially all I'm doing is just doing some basic tarantula feeding and I also would like to update on my piece Letheria ornata because one of our males is finally mature. So this video is pretty much self-explanatory, just some, you know, post-mult feeding attempts. What I really want to talk about are piece Letheria ornatas, so let's talk about that. So for those who are new to my channel, I actually bred and produced Peace Letheria Ornata here in my collection, and I kept a big batch of them, or actually just a few of them. And I believe I have about 13 to 14 females, and I believe about the same equivalent of males as well. And now it seems that our males are maturing out. So this mature male that you're seeing in this video, he is actually the first one to mature of the males. So what's interesting to me is that this guy is kind of small. Now, when it comes to Peace Lotharia Ornatas, almost every single male I've had and seen, they're relatively leggy and large. I'd say 7.5 to 8 inches, but this male, he's puny. I'd say he's about 6.5, maybe 7 inches at maximum leg span. So he's a bit smaller, a bit, well, he's a tad bit smaller than the rest of what I've seen. But uh, stay around because I will show you that mature male later on in this video, so please stick around. So. As for the rest of this video that you're seeing as of now, it's really just your typical maintenance and feeding. Now I don't really have too many specimens to feed this week, but then again, there's nothing really much going on in my collection. The only things I have planned down is essentially feeding some specimens, conditioning some females, and rehousing some juveniles. Now I will try to make a video on rehousing some juveniles, but I don't know how long that'll be because when it comes to rehousing tarantulas, it's very just straightforward and usually I get it done in like 5 seconds. So all I'm saying is that on Friday's video, it may be short, but let us wait and see if something happens. But if it's short, then that's really all there is on the schedule for this week. And as I stated before, and I'll state this again, I upload YouTube videos because I enjoy them. I do not upload videos out of obligation or as a means to grow my channel because I have been uploading for over 5 years now. And even then, whether I get 0 views, 1 view, or however many views, I only upload if I feel like I'm enjoying it. If it starts becoming to a point where it becomes an obligation, then I will consider stepping back on uploading videos. But as of now, I'm still enjoying the process, which is honestly kind of surprising because uh, a lot of tarantula YouTubers will probably already quit by then because 5 years man, that is a very long time, on YouTube time that is. It's kind of crazy now that I think about it. Looking back at, you know, other new at the time tarantula YouTubers trying to make it, and I'd say 99% of them are no longer active. Or, if not active, they're not posting regularly. And I'll tell you, one of the biggest factors on YouTube is to upload somewhat consistently. And man, it is, it is just so surprising how people are like, Laxo, I really want to do YouTube, but I don't really have a big collection. Like, come on, you don't really need a big collection. All you need is just you. Everything starts with you. YouTube is pretty much something anyone can start at any time. And trust me everyone, I've been there. Like, everybody at some point was a newbie. Whether it's YouTube, tarantula keeping, you understand what I'm saying. But you don't need my approval. Like, it's just so strange. Like, when it comes to my editing style and my approach to tarantulas, it is completely different from 99% of tarantula keepers on YouTube. Because I felt like everybody was doing the same thing trying to copy one another. I didn't really care. I just hit the road and said, you know what? Here's my approach. You either hate it or love it. Let's see where it goes. I, Man, I didn't even care, honestly, about whether I got in 100 views, 1 view, or 0 views. And look where we are now. Now I have a very small but very nice community. And I do not take anyone for granted. Which is why I still reply to comments and emails. So, hey, it just goes to show you. It's really just whenever you want to start. Not necessarily what you have to start with or how you want to start. So just go. Iku. And that is my professional advice to YouTube. <laughs> Which is kind of strange. Well, it's very straightforward. And I hope uh, people will get encouraged and not discouraged to start YouTube if they want to start. But anyhow though, jumping back into spiders and whatnot. I do have two long-term goals in mind in terms of breeding. And there's really only two species that comes to my head that I really want to succeed in breeding. 
and that is Theraphosa Blondie and Peace Letheria Metallica. And I am working with those projects on the side, but honestly, if I do produce those two species, I honestly don't really have anything left to prove to myself. Now, I'm not saying I'm retiring, so do not think that, okay? <laughs> I'm still gonna be here, regardless. All I'm saying is that this is crazy. Like, I don't really feel the urge to actually breed anything seriously. And although I do take tarantula breeding seriously, I don't really have any projects I really wanna go in 100% into. I really miss those old days where I just focused on the niche species, such as the Orphanacus species kills on blue, Hysterocrate species Benin, and those type of, you know, tarantula species. And I also believe that my Orphanacus species kills on blue breeding video was actually the first breeding video that was documented here in the United States, which is pretty interesting. I mean, I can use that as a compliment for sure, but, or as a way to boost myself as a tarantula breeder, but honestly, I just couldn't care less. <laughs> I really don't care. There are some people here in the United States that will take any sort of credibility and just run with it, just to brag about themselves. For me, I don't care, and I don't really want to use it as a way to brag about myself, so I, I really just try to stay away from that, honestly. But anyhow, though, uh, that's really where I want to go back to my roots to, though. Just, you know, breeding the very niche species of tarantulas. But, I don't know, tell me what you guys think about that. But without further ado, I guess I'll call this a video. So, as the typical, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to stick around. I upload every single Tuesday and Friday here on the channel. And also, support me on my social medias, such as my IG and Patreon. Links to everything's down below. And with that, stay lax and... Laxo out from the Kumo Sensei.